What is cholesterol? Blood cholesterol is essential for good health. Your body needs it to perform important jobs, such as making hormones and digesting fatty foods. Your body makes all the blood cholesterol it needs, which is why experts recommend that people eat as little dietary cholesterol as possible while on a healthy eating plan. Dietary cholesterol is found in animal foods, including meat, seafood, poultry, eggs, and dairy products. Learn more about preventing high cholesterol by making healthy eating choices. Strong evidence shows that eating patterns that include less dietary cholesterol are associated with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, but your overall risk depends on many factors. What is high cholesterol? High cholesterol is when you have too much cholesterol in your blood. This can increase your risk of heart and circulatory diseases such as heart attack and stroke. High cholesterol in the United States in 2015-2016, more than 12% of adults age 20 and older had total cholesterol higher than 240 mg per deciliter, and more than 18% had high-density lipoprotein, HDL, or, good, cholesterol levels less than 40 mg per deciliter.1 slightly more than half of the US adults, 55%, or 43 million who could benefit from cholesterol medicine are currently taking it. 93 million U.S. adults age 20 or older have total cholesterol levels higher than 200 mg per deciliter. Nearly 29 million adult Americans have total cholesterol levels higher than 240 mg per deciliter. 7% of U.S. children and adolescents ages 6 to 19 have high total cholesterol. What are the types of cholesterol? There are two main types of cholesterol, one good and the other bad. Having too much, bad, cholesterol can cause problems with your health. Cholesterol is carried in your blood by proteins. When cholesterol and proteins combine, they're called lipoproteins. High-density lipoproteins or HDL is called, good, cholesterol. This is because it gets rid of the, bad, cholesterol from your blood. It takes cholesterol that you don't need back to the liver. The liver breaks it down so it can be passed out of your body. Non-high-density lipoproteins or non-HDL is called, bad, cholesterol. This is because when there is too much of it, it can build up inside the walls of the blood vessels. This clogs them up causing narrowing of the arteries which increases your risk of having a heart attack or stroke. You may have also heard, bad, cholesterol being called, LDL, cholesterol. This was previously used as the main measure of bad cholesterol but we now know that other forms of non-HDL cholesterol are also harmful. Why is high cholesterol bad for you? Non-HDL take cholesterol from the liver to the cells around your body. Too much bad cholesterol, non-HDL, can be harmful because it sticks to the inside walls of your arteries. This can lead to fatty material, atheroma, building up, this process is known as atherosclerosis. It makes it harder for blood to flow through, which can lead to a heart attack or a stroke. If your total cholesterol is high, it can mean that you have a lot of bad, non-HDL cholesterol in your blood. A high level of good, HDL cholesterol can help keep that bad cholesterol in check and remove it from your body. What causes high cholesterol? Anyone can get high cholesterol, and it can be caused by many different things. Some things you can control like lifestyle habits, others you can't. As long as you take care of the things you can control, you'll help lower your risk. Things that cause high cholesterol you can control. Eating too much saturated fat, not being active enough, having too much body fat, especially around your middle. Smoking can lead to high cholesterol levels, and the buildup of tar it causes in your arteries makes it easier for cholesterol to stick to your artery walls. If you are overweight or have diabetes, you are at greater risk of having high cholesterol things that cause high cholesterol you can't control, getting older, if you are male or female, ethnic background, familial hypercholesterolemia FH, a form of high cholesterol you are born with, kidney or liver disease, and underactive thyroid gland signs and symptoms of high cholesterol there aren't usually any typical signs you have high cholesterol which is why it's so important to get it checked out. It's a hidden risk factor which means it happens without us knowing until it's too late. How is cholesterol measured? Blood cholesterol levels are measured using a simple blood test. Your GP or practice nurse will take a blood sample, usually by pricking your finger or you might be asked to go for a blood test at your local hospital. Your blood is then checked for levels of good HDL cholesterol, 
bad non-HDL cholesterol and triglycerides, as well as getting a total cholesterol result. Cholesterol and triglycerides are measured in units called millimoles per liter of blood, usually shortened to MMOL liter, or MMOLL. Generally speaking, for a healthy heart the aim is to have a low non-HDL level and a higher HDL level. If you have been told you have a high cholesterol level, you have too much, bad, cholesterol in your bloodstream which increases your risk of having a heart attack or stroke. But a high level of, good, HDL, cholesterol can help keep that, bad, non-HDL cholesterol in check. What is a healthy or normal cholesterol level? There is no specific target cholesterol level because your doctor is looking at your overall risk of developing heart and circulatory diseases. Your risk is increased if you have high cholesterol as well as other risk factors, such as, smoking, high blood pressure, being physically inactive, being overweight, having diabetes, family history of premature coronary heart disease, before 55 for men and before 65 for women, being of South Asian origin the more risk factors you have, the higher your risk of developing a heart or circulatory disease such as a heart attack, stroke or vascular dementia. How can I lower my cholesterol levels? Eat a healthy balanced diet, low in saturated fat. Get active. Quit smoking.